What's going on YouTube? MKM still stacking here. Back with you for another unpackaging video. But before I get into the unpackaging, let me just uh, give you guys a quick update on my um, on my Somali elephants situation. Uh, for those of you who watched my last video, um, uh, you'll recall I uh, I received Somali elephants from Atmex, an, uh, an entire tube of Somali elephants I ordered and. Um, uh, much to my dismay, upon opening the package, real, uh, you know, uh, realized that uh, the tube had had come open during transport and uh, during during shipping, and uh, many of the, the elephants were either scratched or nicked up. So, just to give you guys an update, I uh, I that, that I believe that that unpackaging was on Saturday, is when I uploaded that video, uh, which was the same day I received them in the mail. Um, uh, I immediately, the following day on Sunday, uh, called Atmex and left a, a voicemail. I knew their offices would be closed, but I figured, why not get on record as having an issue with my order as quickly as possible? And so I did that. And then on Monday, uh, I received a call pretty rather promptly at about, uh, I'd say about 11 a.m. Eastern Time from their customer service department. And I got to tell you guys, um, you know, they're really, the, the call was rather uneventful. Um, now, I, if there was any uh, gripe I had uh, about the, the, their, their uh, following up with me was that they just seemed rather non-empathetic about it. I mean, they were just, the lady was nice and she was very much willing to listen to, my, to me gripe about the situation. But uh, for them, it was just another, another situation, you know, um, and they, they had no issue with anything I said to them or questioned in any way. Uh, you know, why I, I had a desire to return the coins. And uh, so immediately she said, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're sorry, we're sorry, you know. Um, uh, and I, I went on to, to tell them that I thought that it, was, it would be a good idea going forward that they exercise better caution in securing their, you know, their coins. But, you know, for her it was just a matter of, okay, I'll take that into account and we'll, we'll let our folks know in fulfillment that, that that's a concern that, you know, you have. So... Just to make a long story short, she immediately she her, she she ended the call by saying our returns department will get in touch with you as soon as possible, and um, and so and, and and that's about it. So uh, upon her hanging up, I had no idea how they would resolve it. But within a half an hour, their returns group sent me an email saying, you know, here's everything you need to to exchange and or return the coins for you know uh, a uh, you know for full. For full return of your money, if if you so desire. So, um, uh, I just to, just to let you guys know, my desire was to to return the entire tube of coins. After having taken a taken a closer look at them, it, it was just obvious to me that that the, all of the coins needed to be returned. There were only like nine of them that were in really good shape. The other eleven were were pretty pretty somewhat scratched up. So, anyways, so yeah, so my final sort of. Uh, perception of how that process went is that for any of you who ever choose to order with Atmex again, if you ever have any problems, they'll have no problem taking care of you. They just, they, no questions asked. They don't even, you know, ask you, they don't even doubt your situation. There's, there was no reason for them to, to, you know, they, I mean, they just had no suspicion about how it is that I received a tube of coins that had been opened in the mail. So, so that's that. Let, on to this uh, un, unpackaging. As you can see here, uh, this order is from Provident Metals, uh, located in Levon, Texas. And uh, as you can see, it's rather flat. So I don't know if that gives you guys any indication of what this might be, but I can assure you that it's probably not what you think. But maybe it is. I don't know. All right, so here we go, your standard package within a package. And let's see what we have here. Oh, now, it's, now we got a second package within a package. So as you can see, we're getting smaller and smaller here, so that may be giving you a clue. As to, what, as to what we could have here. And here we go. Packing slip. 
I'll get rid of that. And here we go. I give you the one ounce gold Australian kangaroo. And I'm getting a little <laughs> glare here off my window, which I should close, but so I feel bad. I'm not giving you guys a good picture, but yeah, here we are. The one ounce gold kangaroo. And I'm going to shift the camera around here to see if I can get you a bingo on this. Ah, here we go. One ounce, nine, 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 four nines gold. Australian kangaroo. There's a queen on the back. A hundred dollars. Cover or face value, I should say. So, yeah, I've had my eye on this for a while. And, uh,. Yeah, I mean, I just really, really have always taken, taken a nice shine to this coin, and I and I and I did a little research on this before buying it, obviously, as one would uh, likely do, um, and I can't really tell you when I ordered it, but can't recall right now. I apologize for that, but uh, I can't tell you what I paid for it. Unfortunately, I caught gold. Before the, the, the super dip that we took recently, where gold went down to 11.97 for a while, I realize now it's back up to about 12.70. But um, but yeah, I caught I caught gold at uh, you know like right now it's at 12.85 actually. Well, I, I didn't even catch it at that lower price. I paid 12.97 for it. So uh, when gold this was at 12.97 spot. So you got to figure your premium on this, which I think that for this particular coin was like 60 bucks. So you got to add that to whatever I caught gold at, which was twelve ninety seven. So, so yeah, so I paid about probably anywhere from fifty to hundred bucks more than I needed to for this one, but nonetheless, gold is gold. So, uh, so yeah, this will make uh, I think at least my second ounce purchase for this year, but maybe my third. I don't know. I got have to go back and look at the records on that, but. But yeah, I so I intermittently stack gold in addition to silver because I like both metals and I look at I look at gold being the more stable one and silver the more volatile one with more upside potential. So that's kind of where I'm at on this. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry for going long on this video, but I wanted to give you an update on the uh, on the Somali elephants incident. And once though the returns for those come in the mail, I'll make a video on that as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, and uh, keep on stacking out there, brothers. Take care. Bye now.